Today, we're looking at Diamine's Jet Black. Hi, I'm Adam and I'm an ink guy. I get inks, test them, and share the results with you. Now, Diamine's Jet Black is a uh, black ink. I just don't know that it's jet black, but it is a black ink. To make sure I have a range of experience with this ink, I do the writing samples, I put the ink into a different pen for a day, I then put it into a Levenger True Writer with a broad nib to take my notes for this video. Now, before we get to the writing samples, let's look at the sciencey bits. Up first is the chromatography, and I agree with Vita that I've learned a lot by doing multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. I put a line of ink down and immediately put it in the water for 10 to 15 seconds. And we see some of that blue really stays immediately in place. It pushes up, we get a much darker blue, and then we get what is the black, I'll call it, super dark gray at the top. The one on the right I let dry for 10 minutes before I dunk it into water. And it largely looks the same, except more blue stays on that bottom line and it does not flee as fast up. But it basically looks the same. It looks like it might try to stay around a little bit. Resistance tests are done to see how this ink can be expected to perform on the page, and more importantly, how hard this ink might be to clean from your pens. I let the smear dry for three days before testing it. Looking at the highlighter, I don't know that this is good in a note-taking situation because it starts to become a bit blurry for me. And this is an extra fine nib that is more medium broad, but I wasn't writing for a broad pen there, so I'd be worried that I might lose something important. Water moves most of this ink out of the way. We do see this faint line that's going up that it's starting to get much, much lighter. I'm just not sure that water is gonna take all of this ink out of your pen. It does leave a little bit behind on the paper. Pen Flush did everything water did and a little bit more. You start to see that one spot where the white of the paper is beginning to show through, which makes me feel that Pen Flush is all that I would need to get this out of my pen. Bleach does not completely remove it from the paper, which is a little odd for how much Pen Flush is doing. The one third bleach solution with only 30 seconds leaves this kind of light brownish color behind, which I don't really remember seeing in the chromatography. For the inks I've tested, I've found an average viscosity of 2.5, with the realm of normal being from 2.1 to 2.5. Diamine's Jet Black has an average, or has a viscosity of 2.2, making it normal. Absolutely normal. To find my average dry time, I use my writing samples done with the extra fine and medium nib on Claire Fontaine, Tomoy River, and Rhodia paper. For the inks I've tested, I have found an average dry time of 17 seconds, with the realm of normal being from 13 to 21 seconds. Diamine's Jet Black has an average dry time of 20 seconds, so while it seems high, it is still normal, just the high side of normal. Now, let's look at the writing samples. I picked this ink up in sample form, and to keep my writing sample consistent, I use a Jinhao 159 with a Goulet 1.1 stub, a Jinhao X450 with a Goulet medium, and a Jinhao X750 with a Goulet extra fine. Let's take a look at Clairefontaine. We get no bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 is no feathers, spread, halo, sheen, or shade. It has super crisp lines. Super dark all the way. It is nice. This is jet black. Properly named. Great. Extra fine. No feather spread. Halo sheen. No shade. 13 seconds to dry. It looks like it's a little lighter because it's thinner lines, but it is the same super dark black here. The medium. Same tone. No feather spread. Halo sheen. No shade. 20 seconds to dry. The extra fine and the medium show us no color variation. We don't expect it. We don't get it. In a smear test, you could likely recover it if you smeared while you were writing. Tomoy River. No bleeding. Yes, we get plenty of ghosting because it's Tomoy River. The 1.1 is no feather spread. Halo sheen or shade. Same tone with the extra fine. No feather spread. 
Halo Sheen or Shade, 20 seconds to dry. This is just a great dark black. It feels like you could fall in it. Just never touch the sides. Ah, it's just nice. Medium. No feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, no shade. 28 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show is no color variation. We didn't expect it. We didn't get it. The smear test. You could recover this. This doesn't happen all the time on Tomoy River. This one, you could definitely recover if you smeared while you were writing. That's great. Rhodia paper. No bleeding. No ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather, spread, halo sheen, or shade. Same tone of black. It's not changing because of the nib. No feather, spread, halo sheen, or shade. 15 seconds to dry. Same tone of black with the medium. I love how consistent this ink is. No feather, spread, halo sheen, or shade. 21 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation. I don't like color variation in my black inks. I want my black to be black. The smear test says you could likely recover if you smeared it. Limon paper. Problem child. Problem child did not bleed nearly as much as it has on other stuff. I, a lot of spotting. I, 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 I struggle to say if you could use the back. That's a personal call. There's a lot of spots. They don't come all the way through. I don't think they make the back of the page entirely unusable. But there is a lot. It doesn't fully ghost. It just has a lot of the spotting all over. The 1.1 has spread, has feathers, especially when you look at the word black. Look at the word diamine. Jet didn't feather as much. It was moving too fast. It had no halo, sheen, or shade. Same tone with the extra fine. The extra fine had no spread. It's got very little feathering. Very little. The BR in brown has some feathering. The rest of brown doesn't. The K in quick has some feathering. The rest of quick doesn't. The VE in over has feathering. The rest doesn't. So it has a bunch of feathering, but it's not always there. And it's not the end of the world if you have to use this paper. If this is your favorite paper, this ink might perform well enough to keep you happy. It took eight seconds to dry. The medium still super black. No feather spread. Sorry. If we have feathering, we don't have spread. Sorry. Lazy has a bunch of feathering in it. It has a little more feathering than what we got with the medium. Okay, the LA is feathered. The Z is a little feathered. The Y, not so much. The D in dog is feathered, but not the rest of the wor word. The bottom hoop of the F in fox is feathered, but not the rest of fox. The, Q, the bottom hoop of Q, the bottom hoop of UI is feathered. K is entirely feathered. It feathers a bunch. It's not the end of the world. It feathers more than it did with the extra fine. It had no halo, no sheen, no shade. 13 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation. We didn't expect it. We didn't get it. The smear test says you could definitely recover this if you smeared while you were writing. Black and red paper. No bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather spread, halo sheen, and no shade. Strangely here, and it's the only time it occurs, the extra fine looks a little bit lighter. The extra fine has no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade. It took 10 seconds to dry. The medium had no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade. It took 15 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both showed us no color variation. We didn't expect it. We didn't get it. The smear test, you could likely recover it. And G. Lalo, the gray tone paper. No bleeding, no ghosting. It's a laid paper. The only ink I think that's ever going to look good on this is going to be black ink. And this one looks good here. Other than that, I've consistently not liked how my writing samples look on this paper. The 1.1 has no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade. Nice, dark, black. The extra fine. It's the same tone. It looks lighter because the lines are so thin of that extra fine, but it is the same tone. No feather spread, halo sheen, or shade. Eight seconds to dry. The medium, no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade. Fourteen seconds to dry. 
the scrubby for both showed us no color variation. We didn't expect it. We didn't get it. And the smear test, you could recover if you smeared while you were writing this. And that is all that I have for the writing sample. Instead of finding inks that look like Diamine's Jet Black, I would prefer to find an ink that complements its color on the page. I've chosen Colorverse Red Shift. Because this is not like a perfect black, but it needs a little bit of something to help offset it. Before I give my opinion on this ink, I would ask if it's... Before I give my opinion on this ink, I would ask if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, I would invite you to subscribe. Now, what do I think of Diamine's Jet Black? I think this is a great basic black with a very dark, rich look to it in its writing. A lot of stuff that led up to the writing didn't make me feel like it was going to be that way. But seeing the writing samples, this would be my go-to black if I didn't like Noodler's Dark Matter that much. But this is a fantastic black ink. Thanks for watching.